Hello and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to be going over how to make a step-by-step -step content slider. In this lesson, part 1, we're going to be going over the HTML and CSS structure of this application. After following this part 1 and part 2, you should have an application which can run on a website which looks similar to this. You can see that it's a nice design and with by clicking 1, 2 or 3, you can switch between the different contents with a nice animation and it displays the correct content on which you want to display. So without further ado, let's jump into this tutorial and get started. Okay, so for this tutorial I've created a folder on my desktop and I named it Content Slider. Within this there's two other folders and a file named index.html. Within the CSS folder we have a CSS document named main.css and in the images folder we have two images, one progress background which is the background of our progress bar and the other one is progress selected which is the selected state to tell which step you're on. Okay so if we go back again obviously the other file is index.html. So if we open Dreamweaver which is the text editor I'm working in you can see that this is a blank HTML document apart from the two scripts I included from the Google API library jQuery and jQuery UI. Another thing which I've included in this document of course is the style sheet which you saw in my folder structure and this style sheet is currently blank. Everything else on this folder has been left blank for this tutorial, so we can teach you. Okay, so if we head over to Google Chrome, which is my default web browser, and we view this file on the web, you can see it's looking a little bit blank. So what we're going to do is we're just going to add some content in there. So the first thing we're going to do is in main.css, we're going to create a new class called container. Now, I've chosen to give this class a width of 400 pixels. and a height of 600 pixels. Now I'm also going to give this a border of a 1 pixel solid and a darkish lightish grey colour which is CCC. After the border I've also chose to give it a background of a lighter grey which is FAFAFA. After this we're just going to give it a margin on top it's going to have 10% so it's 10% down the page and the rest is going to be set to auto for it to align in the centre of the document. After this we're just going to apply a CSS free element named border radius which gives it rounded borders and I'm just going to have it 6 pixels. So if we go into index.html and we're just going to apply a comment saying that we're starting the content or the container even. Then we're just going to write out the div and give it the class of container and close the div off. Now if we go back into Google Chrome and view this you can see that we now have the container right in the center of the screen ready for us to work with. So what else do we need on this container? Obviously we need the background of the progress and the steps and we need the container for that too. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open Dreamweaver, go back into the CSS and I'm just going to write out a comment in the CSS saying the progress bar, saying that we're starting the CSS for the progress bar. Now the first class is going to be progress container which is going to be the main container for the progress bar within the steps. And this is going to have a width of 310 pixels and a height of 51 pixels. Now the reason I've chose this exact width and height is because the images in the image folder, that progress bar background, is exactly 300 pixels width and height for 51 pixels. So depending on your images is how wide this container is going to be. And the next thing I'm going to do is we're just going to set the background to have the URL and we're going to link the URL to that progress background image. After this we're just going to set no repeat so that if the container is like a couple pixels over it won't repeat and look a bit silly. Then we're just going to give it a margin top 10 pixels and align it into the center again with auto. We're going to close that off, we're going to go back into index.html and then what we're going to do is we're just going to uh, give a comment so that we know that we're starting our uh, process steps so we're just going to type in progress steps as the comment and then below this we're just going to have a div class of progress container and close that div off. We're also going to highlight all of this and tab it in so that we can see what we're working with a little bit better, display it a little bit nicer. So if we refresh you can see that we've been supplied with this background of the progress. Now next thing we need to do is we need to create the selected state which is going to animate um, from left to right which step you're on. And we need to do this using positioning of absolute and z index for it to go on top of the current background. 
So if we go back into Dreamweaver right now, and we're going to go back into the main.css, we're going to create a new class and we're going to call it progress middle score selected. Open curly brace. And now this is going to have the display of block because we're going to display it as a div, even if it's not a div. And then of course the position of absolute. After this, with the position of absolute, supplying or applying a layer to the website so that it's like a Photoshop element. Uh, this is going to go on layer 4. We're also going to have the width of 46 pixels and that's just the height of my image or the height and width of my image. So the width and height is going to be both 46 pixels. After this we're just going to give it the background of the image and after that of course we're just going to do no repeat just for the same reason as we did in the progress container. So if we close this off and we're going to just put it into index.html, so we're just going to put the div in here, div class progress selected, close the div off and refresh in the Google Chrome. You can see that it's a little bit off center. So we're just going to center it using margins. So how we're going to do that is we're just going to do first off margin top and we're just going to give the margin top three pixels and margin left two pixels. Now if we refresh, you can see that I made a little mistake and I put margin bottom instead of margin left. So let me just go ahead and correct that. And you can see now that it's just a bit more in the center of that circle, right where we want it. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do is we need to put numbers on top of this. So like I said, like the Photoshop layers, we're just gonna put another layer into the HTML and it's gonna supply us with the numbers. So I'm going to call this class item number. I'm going to open the curly brace, go down a few lines, and let's put display block again, because this isn't going to be a div, it's going to be a link, and the position is going to be absolute. Now the z-index is going to be 5, which is one more than the z-index on the progress selected, so that's going to be a layer above that. Once again, the width is going to be exactly the same, so it covers the whole of the progress selected div and the height is going to be the same as the progress container, so 51 pixels. Now the next couple of things are pretty much basically up to you, it's just styling of the text. So the font size I've chosen 27 pixels and the font family for me I've chosen Arial. Now the text align has to be center because um, obviously the width is the same size as the circle so that if you do text line center it's easier just to do that than space it center. Then the text texturation is going to be none as I said it's going to be a link so we don't want an underline onto that because that would just look plain ugly and I've chosen the color as BA 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 and that's just a darker color than the circle currently is. You can also put a hover effect on that might make it look a bit nicer that's up to you. So you can see that if I apply the class or the link even with the class of item number and just put one there, you can see that it's displayed there, but it's not totally in the center like uh, downwards wise. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go back into Dreamweaver and we're going to go into the main.css and we're going to add some padding and a margin. Now the padding is going to be a padding top and that's going to be a five pixels. Now that will pad that from the top within the div of 5 pixels. So if we look at that you can see that it's dropped down a tiny but it's still not in the center. So you can see that now if we go back into Dreamweaver and we're going to apply the margin top of 3 pixels. Now the reason I've done this is because in progress selected you can see that I've also done exactly the same margin top 3 pixels. So now you can see that's more or less in the center. All right. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into Dreamweaver and I'm going to go into the code view and I'm just going to copy and paste this link, uh, let's say two more times, and we're going to have three steps. So we're going to have this one two and this one three. Now we're going to refresh and you can see that it's layered on top of each other. Now we don't want that. So a fix for this is we're just going to go into main.css and what we can do here is we can just supply the class, so item number, and then we can do colon and we can do nth child. Now this will select the um, like second div or the third div, whatever you put in here with the class of 
item number and of course we want to select the second div first so we put two in here then we open the curly brace and we're just going to give it the margin left of a lot more now i've worked this out previously before this tutorial and i've worked it out as 132 pixels and i've closed that off and we're just going to do exactly the same but instead of nth child 2 we're going to select the third div so it's going to be nth child with 3 so let me just type that out and now I'm going to do the margin left of 262 pixels and these margins are also important for the animation in part 2 of this tutorial so now you can see that now that's being displayed out as 1, 2 and 3 and once you click these you'll see that the selected will slowly move across in part 2 of course once we've done the animations so now what's missing is the main content so we're just going to put a new comma comment underneath that saying main content and this is where we're going to start the styling for the main content so first we need to have a main content div which is going to be the width of 360 pixels and the reason why I've chosen 360 is because it's going to have a padding of 20 pixels now tw 20 plus 20 is 40 on each side 40 plus 360 is 400 which is the same width as the main container now it's going to have a height of 400 and 59 I believe I chose yep pixels and uh, I worked that out previously before and it's just going to have a default font size and font family so the font size is 12 pixels and the font family is Arial I'm also just going to give it a uh, font style there and I'm just going to give it an italic font style so once we've done this we can then do obviously you're going to have three different content sections so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to have a class which I can apply to all of them named content switcher like so. Now once I've done this we can set the display to none but also if we have some content and it's called content switcher displayed none nothing's going to show up. So just like we did with the item number I'm going to do content switcher but instead of nth child we can select the first child so the first div. So we do first middle score child now we can set the display of this to block so that default the first div in that being the first content will display so now once we save this I'm going to go into HTML and I'm just going to copy and paste some information which I've had previously from something which I've worked on yeah just to practice this tutorial so I'm just going to comment out the main content and I'm just going to paste this in here So you can see that this has got a lot of default text in, um, it's got the class of content switcher and the ID of content1, so you can tell that's the first content. The ID isn't really um, necessary now, but it is in part 2, and you can see this one has a content of um, ID of content2, and this one has an ID of content3. So now if we refresh, uh, you can see that I've made a little mistake here, or a couple little mistakes, and that's just because um, when I was testing this out, I also changed the class name, um, so it isn't content switcher with two capitals anymore, it's got a middle score in the middle, and it's all lowercase. So we just got content switcher, and we're going to change that for all of them. And another thing I forgot to do is I forgot to wrap this all in the main div.css, um, the main content CSS class even, sorry. So we're just going to wrap that in there, and we're just going to tab this in so you can see that more clearly. And now once we refresh, you can see that that's actually displayed quite a nice content, and you can see that the first content's only on display, all of the others have been hidden. Now in part 2 we're going to be going over the jQuery to make the selected state slide in between them and show all the different contents, just like I did in this example right at the start of the video. So thank you for listening to the, my tutorial, thank you for watching, don't forget to thumbs up this video if you enjoyed it, like listening to it, and also subscribe to my channel for more videos. Thank you and goodbye.